All right, y'all, so we got a light on in there. And the batteries are sitting at 65%, 23.6. And we're using, with everything that's on right now, we're using 311 watts, 3.28 amps. And this I got the pump, my water pump running off of, you know, the 10k battery, and the inverter is on, and while it's on, it uses 1.31 amps, 68 watts. You know, when the pump kick on, it'll you know kick up at a high surge, like one a thousand watts, maybe sometimes 2,000. It all depends. So, this is just a little quick update video to let you know. That I am watching TV, I'm watching the game, and let's check this off. I got a few lights on. I got these two lights on running in my kitchen. One underneath there, and one underneath there. So. So that's all I wanted to show y'all that I am using the system. I'm acting as, you know, normal, you know, if I was on the utility grid. And I'll see y'all in the next video. All right, so it's the next morning. It's about 10 o'clock. And we're at 22.2, bringing in 388 on the watt side, 28% on the battery side. So that was last night. I was like say watching the game, had lights on. You know, if you buy the low wattage lights, you can keep those on. That's really not a problem. I know I've been saying I don't leave lights on, but I do buy, you know, the low watt lights. Make sure they low watts, you know, energy efficient. I buy those that way, you know, I don't use a lot of power. So on my house, you know, it's like really energy efficient. Like everything that I purchase, I make sure that it's low watts. You know, like my ice box, for instance, is 1.1 amp. It only pulls 1.1 amp. So my ice box hover around 120 amps. I mean, I'm sorry, not 120 amps, 120 watts all day. You know, unless I didn't un like un had it unplugged for weeks and plugged it back up, it'll go up to like three, but it only do around 120 so that's efficient and that's pretty much the only thing that kind of stays on that in the pump and like i say my water pump only bring only comes on when the water need, you know like the toilet and if i'm taking a shower the pump will come on stuff like that so and that's the biggest surge i have other than the ac unit units but i do have many splits so they very efficient it's about two o'clock in, in the afternoon. And we're bringing in a thousand watts. We're sitting at twenty-four point two, battery at forty-eight percent. So I'm just showing y'all that. All right. So we used the TV last night. We ran the batteries down pretty low. Which lithium you can run all the way down to zero if you if you want to. You don't have to you know baby these batteries these batteries are made to take down all the way to zero and break it right back up to 100 percent which i have been doing that a lot and these batteries still work perfectly fine you know i mean i can go off of what people say i mean i really don't go off of what people say because i have to do my own test so i'm gonna run these batteries down if it say it can run down to zero percent and bring it up to 100 percent, then i'm gonna run them down and i'm gonna bring them up and i've done that plenty of times and it works that's what i like about lithium i love lithium because it really works these batteries still going and like i said it was off a 2012 chevy volt car and i'm not, i know it wasn't at 100 percent when i got them and i'm still using these batteries two years later and they're working like a champ as long as you got that solar coming in to charge them batteries right back up 
hey, you good to go. You don't have to worry about nothing. So solar is important. Battery capacity is important. And the size of the inverter that you use is very important. Right now, I mean, my uh, refrigerator is off because I'm only bringing in 42 watts in my house. That's it. You know, it's daylight. I have a bunch of windows, so I keep the windows open to bring in that natural light. So I don't have to use, you know, the, the lights as much. Even though I can, like I say, I just don't. Is you know, solar's teaching me a lot. You know, cut off the lights when you're not in the room. You know, lots of window light bring in in the daytime. You know, use most, most of the light at night. So, we brought in 2.4 kilowatts just today. That's how much we brought in. So let's see how much we use. Okay, so we use 4.7 kilowatt hours, which this is a 6K battery now. It's a 6K battery and we pull 4.7 kilowatts out of this battery bank. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So I'm going to do the test tomorrow morning because I got to go to work. So I'm about to go to sleep and then I'm going to show y'all what the system did. I think we're going to have some overcast days. So that's good because I'll get to show y'all what happens when we have overcast days. And over here on the 10K kilowatt, like I said, I got the water pump running off of this and we sitting at 98%, bringing in 3.79 amps, 203 watts. And we have 53.7 and 194 amp hours. So we almost charged, huh? almost 100% charged on this battery. And that's the cycle that I'm trying to show y'all. Once you have the right amount of solar coming in and the right amount of battery capacity, it's like a loop. It just loops through every day, every day. And then that's when you got the generator kick in on like a week of overcast you know if, if the solar's not bringing in anything it's been raining then you got the generator kicks on charge the batteries and kick right back off so when when people when you watch videos and people tell you that you can't do this and you can't do that i don't see why if you have the right system you can do whatever you want to do anything that you want to do you just got to have the right system I'm going to do about three more tests on the 24 volt system so y'all can see if you want to buy a 24 volt system or if you want to buy a 48 volt system. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to run, that's why I ran the test on the 48 volt already. It did excellent. I'm running it on the 24 volt now and it's doing this excellent. And then I was going to run the AC unit. I'm going to show y'all how to run air conditions off of a 48 volt system. That's my next test. But like I said, I'm gonna run two more tests on the 24 volt. Make sure you're bringing in lots of watts. Really, I should be bringing in, well, this is an 80 amp charger. So it's bringing in 42.3 amps. You know, I could be bringing in 2000 watts. You know, like I say, if you have the right amount of solar panels, then it will be charged faster. So buy lots of solar panels, buy a big battery mount. And then you should be able to loop this system 24 hours every day. And they say batteries last up to 10 years. That's fine. If you save up for the next 10 years and redo your whole battery bank again, with all the money you save on not paying a light bill, you can do it. That's what I would do if it was me. You know, that's what actually that's what I do. Like, I've been having these batteries. They still going longer. I mean, they might go 15 years. It all depends. So, I am going to buy new batteries. I'm about to purchase, like I said, a 20-kilowatt battery. I'm about to purchase that. And I'm going to try to run everything off of that 20K. The AC units, the water pump, and the uh, house. And if I got to get another MPP solar inverter to parallel, you know, parallel it to get 10K, then I will. But I just want to show y'all, I'm just showing y'all, this is the test, test two. I got two more tests. We're going to stop at test four. And that's going to let y'all know that the 24-volt system works just as well as the 48-volt system. All right, until the next videos, make sure y'all like. If y'all like what y'all see, comment, let me know what you like, what you don't like. Hit the thumbs down, dislike, anything. Just let me know. 
ask me questions. I'm here to answer the questions. So subscribe to the channel so y'all can see when I post the next video of the test three on the 24 volt 6K capacity. I mean, battery capacity. See y'all in the next video.